Hey guys, it's Amanda here. I am a brand photographer from Brisbane, Australia. And in today's video, I want to show you how to install Lightroom presets onto your mobile phone. I find that this is probably the area people most struggle with as I get quite a few messages um, asking for support when they buy my Lightroom presets and they try to install them on their mobile phone. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I have put my preset store in the description box below so you can go and check them out and see if they might be of interest to you. Otherwise, let's get stuck into the video. Now, the first thing that you want to make sure is that you have Lightroom CC downloaded on your mobile phone. The app looks like this. After you've purchased your presets, you can either download your files to your mobile phone directly or you can do it on your computer. I recommend doing it on your computer because that way you actually have a backup of the file saved. Um, so for example, if you lose your phone or it gets stolen, then you have a backup of the files on your computer. However, if you are downloading them directly to your mobile, you can use an app called Unzip to unzip the file that you receive and then save the DNG file directly to your camera roll. So when you buy a Lightroom preset, the file that is suitable for your mobile phone is the DNG file. If you have downloaded the file to your computer, you can either airdrop if you have a Mac and an iPhone, otherwise you can use a Google Drive, Dropbox, or even email it to yourself. Now, once you've got that DNG file, you wanna open Lightroom. So I'm gonna give you a little tutorial here. Open Lightroom CC and then go into your gallery. Now you're gonna see the DNG file show up. And what you're gonna do is open that file and then press the tick. And then once you have this file opened, this photo has the preset applied to it. So at the top right hand corner, you wanna hit that little icon with the circle and the three dots, and then go create presets. You'll then wanna give the preset a name. So for example, we're gonna call this one down to earth version one, and then we just hit tick. Now this has saved the preset to your user presets. So let's go ahead and open a photo and apply the preset. So we're gonna go back to our gallery, we're gonna open a photo, and then we scroll all the way to the end to where presets is, and you should see the preset saved there. So we're gonna hit down to earth, and we've applied it. It's as easy as that. Now, if you run into any other issues while installing your presets, I highly recommend to try the following. A, restart your phone. B, restart Lightroom. C, uninstall the Lightroom app and then reinstall it. D, make sure you have the most up-to-date version of Lightroom Mobile. Lightroom can be a little temperamental sometimes in my own experience. So you might just have to have a little bit of a play around with it if you're experiencing issues and be patient with it. I know how frustrating it is to have bought a preset and you can't install it on Lightroom mobile. So just be patient with the process. Now, if this message comes up on your mobile Lightroom app, this is totally normal. The reason that this comes up is because the preset has been created in Lightroom desktop. So this means that Lightroom desktop has more editing features that Lightroom mobile does not have. So that's why it would say that the preset is partially incompatible. This is totally normal. The preset will still work perfectly fine. It'll still look the same. All you need to do is hit okay. Now, if you're still having issues after trying all of that, I would highly recommend to give your issue a Google um, or even search on YouTube for any other answers. Unfortunately, I don't work for Adobe, so I can only take you as far as what I have experienced during the troubleshooting process, and I can't just magically fix Lightroom. Um, so you're always welcome to email me if you need support, if you have bought my Lightroom presets, um, but otherwise, please give the issue a Google before you do contact me. Anyway, I hope that you found this little tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.